Hi. Oh, it's crawled out from under its rock, has it? You should be ashamed of yourself. I know. I'm sorry. It all just made me a bit nervous. Everything makes you nervous, Claire. You're a walking cack attack. I can't help that. It's the way God made me. Michelle's running around saying it's her, that she wrote the story, that she's a wee lesbian. That's a flick. There'd be more chance of it being you. It is me. No, I mean, I'd be less surprised if it was you. It is. No, it's not. But if it was... Erin! It's me. I'm the wee lesbian. I so you are, Claire. I'm not joking. You're... You're a lesbian. I've never been brave enough to say it out loud before, but I think that's why I wrote this story, and then it all got too real. I got too scared, but now... Well... You made me realise it's all okay. Don't blame me. What? You fancy gears? Well, that's sort of an entry-level requirement, Erin. I think I'm going to boke. Do you mind? I'm trying to come out here. Well, don't. Don't come out. Go back in. I don't want to go back in. Well, I'm sorry, Claire, but... I'm just not interested in you, not like that. I'm not interested in you like that look of this stadium. <laughs> oh, come off it. Your arrogance is staggering, Erin. Well, you know what else is staggering? Your gayness. I really thought you'd understand. She won't even talk to me. She doesn't even want to sit beside me. In French, she moved next to Kiva Callahan, so things must be really bad because Kiva reeks a puss. Christ's sake, is this bastard living with us now? Daddy's dead funny, isn't he? Yeah. I just want my old friend back. She hasn't gone anywhere, love. 